Hello everybody! Uh, I am Bones, and today we are doing... I'm trying to sound this little. I am Bones, and today we are doing Moss Destruction. Uh, the developer was nice enough to throw us a copy of this game. Um, I'm curious about it. So, hero, Mosses. Now this is called a twin stick shooter, basically, but... I like, uh, the little thing he's in. A devoted young Moss sorry. Masarian hero with the willingness to act on his people's behalf. Masis operates the fairly balanced all-rounder the chicken. A simple yet reliable build. No bonuses, no trade-offs. Um, the trailer for this looked really good, actually. So we're gonna... Uh, rank one. Let's play it. This is some sort of shooter. I do have my controller connected, but I don't know if it's actually if I've turned it on or not. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. You gain rank by killing enemies. You can advance uh, maximum of two ranks in each level. You can carry two weapons at all times. These are your ammo types. Make sure you keep track of them. Hint, it's always wise to keep weapons consuming different ammo types. I do agree there. Alright, so that's me. And that's weapons. I uh, hope you all give me just a minute here, guys. I'm just all right. I'm aligning my sticks. There's no way that sounded great. All right. Well, melee is effective. Oh, I can pick something up. Yes. Oh. Crap. The color associated effects will be randomized in each run, so some of this is randomized. So let's do a right bar. Yeah, got some energy. Uh, 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 uh. So this uh, reminds me a bit of some sort of roguelike. Um, fast, very colorful graphics. Now I have it downed a little, but the music is actually quite interesting in this. Uh, very for lack of a better term, I don't know what else to call it really, but it's nice and punchy. Uh huh. Pretty right. So they do uh, a lot of different things in this. I noticed for loot, loot does not the exit portal. Walking to it to leave now. Take your time to gain rank and find the weapon crate of the level. The portal is displayed now on your mini map. Let's take our time and explore. I like to explore anyway. Any of you who know my let's plays will know that. Ooh. I barely use a controller in games, ever, so those of you who know me will already know this. Um, where the sun is setting is... Uh -huh. We're gonna try for better loot, guys. We're going big on this. This is a... We're basically trying new things, so let's, let's try them. Let's, uh, let's test this game out, baby. Boom. I'm also going to switch back and forth between keyboard and mouse. Oh uh, yeah, mouse is really comfortable in this too. For now, let's stick with mouse, guys. A big mouse. Yep. Boom shalakalaka! Uh, sometimes I feel like games like this are good because there are times when I just want a game that just kind of, you know, run around, go crazy, do some shooting McCutersons, and uh, this is good for that, man. Boom! Yes, you love it. I got a bazooka. Hey, hey! Oh, what is this one now? That's my... what's that one? So am I just using... okay. Oh, I got a pulse rifle though, yeah. Oh, shit. So both these are bazooka right now, so can I just... Okay, so you always have one pulse and then one other one. Uh, what is that thing? That's crazy, eh? See how that is? Alright. So! Oh god, I'm getting my ass beat. Something fierce here, guys. Should I use number two? Let's try number two. Yes! Damn, look at that thing go. 
I found a rare power up my first run through here on this level, guys. Not too shabby, eh? Not too shabby, Mr. Papa. Um, yeah. Alright. So I found a portal. I've not found the secret weapons crate this level, but let's see what the portal has in it, guys. So, what do we have here? Nothing I can afford, can I? I can. Uh, uh -huh. uh, just enough for them. What does this one do? Alright. Obviously, I'm gonna save these for something bigger. I feel like that other one on nice. Uh, and maybe it's just like the, the, what do you call it? The feel of the game, but I feel like this is one of those go big or go home moments, you know what I mean? So for now, we're all about the rocket launchers. Uh, and this thing. So big stuff right now. We're going big, baby. Going big, baby! Get some extra loot. Double damage. Oh my god, look at the raining fire of death. You will fear my moss. Slowly, we shall defeat. We shall get revenge for our moss kind. Do you find out what I am saying? That's awful. I guess you could say that I'm just trying to be a fun guy. Yeah, I did it, I dad joked. Who cares? Uh, dude, I tell you what, I'm rather enjoying this game. This reminds me a lot of, like, uh... Oh, so I got lead boots and unknown. Let's try unknown damage buff. Better than a debuff, right? So there we go. So, I'm in a weird little mech thing. I'm a piece of moss, basically, I believe. And I'm running around as that moss doing things. I don't quite know what things yet. What does this thing do? Oh, I got more uh, more of those. No, no, that's not good at all. <laughs> well, that one sucked, but at least I know now that that is not a benefiter at all. I kind of liked that bolter, but I feel like this other one is just so much better than the bolter. Uh, the weapons crate I'm still not seeing, guys. Am I am I doing something wrong here? Probably I'm probably going in circles. Sorry if I am. Uh, we're gonna look around up here in this corner one last time, and then I'll just head back out into the exit of the level. Uh, so basically, this reminds me a lot of one of those '90s, those great arcade feeling games from Sega Genesis. Uh, and I was a big Sega Genesis guy. I don't know if you guys prefer S Genesis or Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo had one that I loved. And I liked the Genesis version, but I feel like something was better on the Super Nintendo version, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe the music called uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I'd love to see that one. We're done. Nice. I get to pick one, do I? I feel like this is a good one here. One tech available, guys. Let's start with that one there. Um, what an interesting little game so far, I think. Um... We're definitely going to be playing a little more here. Oh, is that? I'll say one thing. Some of these don't pair well with the mouse, but this one... I mean, you shoot one, you're doing this. You hit the other, you're doing your melee. That's pretty smart. Not to mention, it just kind of makes common sense, you would think. But uh, I've seen games that mess that up or have melee on a key and the other thing, the mouse. I feel like shooting in most games is universally a mouse control thing, um, but I do like that with this one, I feel like there is a, a few more options, is, are a few more options, 
Why I picked red boots, I don't know. I saw what the hell it was. Uh, for a little piece, piece of fungus, this dude does some crazy damage in this thing. Uh, one thing that's... Oh no! R.I.P. Revenge. So I'm still only Mosses. Play. Well, we'll try it again. Uh, the game is pretty easy to get a get the hang of. It's gonna say get a hold of, but that doesn't really make sense now, does it? Uh, so, was using the controller, going back to mouse. Oh, there's a little stutter stutter there. Not loving that, but uh, boom, there we go. Yeah, the pulse story for now I really dig. So when I replace these, I will. I feel like these are basically both the same, but this is almost like a shotgun of the energy, uh, energy weapon, so I'm gonna stick with this one. So, clearly there, that I want, I can tell you now, because that's got a lava cannon, and what could be bad about a lava cannon? Nothing. That's, that's what. Okay, well clearly that's the secret shop thing. A uh, sepulcher so seems to be your default Pew Pew weapon. Okay, now that's just awesome. Uh, that's more like an AoE thing. I feel like this is just kind of like a low-key shotgun. Or not low-key, but you know what I mean. Just kind of shotgun for all intents and purposes, just with energy. Uh, so we have some other good games coming up for you guys this week. Some stuff that... Uh, a few of the ones that I plan to do on this channel are ones that you've probably already seen other people play, or you probably already know about. Like I said, our channel doesn't like to focus on a lot of games that tons of people have played, but there's one or two that I feel are important um, for different reasons. One of the ones I'm picking is because of that. The other one I'm picking because, frankly, uh, I, I find it intriguing. Um, And we will have some more Let's Play board game stuff too, guys. Uh, there are actually going to be quite a few little... Oh, Wormify. Well, that's a cool idea. Aha! You did it, Wormified my enemies. Well, that's a power-up I've never seen in another game. Uh, I really got to do better with watching my health bar, though, guys. I'm not, I'm not paying attention to that shit at all. I also keep calling you all guys, like you all are, you know, followers of PewDiePie here, which you're probably like, you're not PewDiePie? I know. Uh, he's actually famous. That's the difference. I am not. But I am funny. Once in a while. Not a ton, but once in a while I get one. Stick him with the guys, I don't care. Oh my god. Let's go back here. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to go this way. You go down. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Do your things. No! I have did. Let's try one more. We're doing it. Uh, the artwork here, and the uh, for the hand-drawn little guy here, very cool. Um, I like the art. I'll definitely make sure uh, we link you to this. But yeah, we have a few Let's Play board game ones that are coming up. Um, and in the comments, let me know if you guys want me to do some videos that are basically just explaining how to play some very common games, uh, card games and all that. Like, we do Liar's Dice, we do Pirate Liar's Dice, we do... Poker dice, you'll notice a lot of dice games. Craps, CeeLo, two more dice games. Um, but I am shocked, you know, I also play Chohan. Um, but a lot of people don't know how to play those games, and it's funny because I've introduced them to groups of people, and then they become big games that people play, just like Shut the Box. Uh, I only shut the box uh, copy of it, and we enjoy the copy of that quite a bit, so if you guys want more of that stuff, let me know in the comments. 
or give me your opinion on why I should or should not do that. And I will go from there, guys. Um, personally, I feel like I should keep covering that stuff because we're one of the only channels I know that does them. Um, um, that is not a big name, lots of money channel. There are quite a few channels that do board games. I'm not saying there aren't. Because there certainly are. Nice. That's cool. Um, and for that, I commend them. Uh, they have two or three cameras. We have one camera. You'll notice. Our camera work is all me, and it probably sucks. And that is, again, all me. But, I make up for it by doing dad jokes and trying to be funny. Uh, and we have a, a puppet. I swear we do. Speaking of which, we have to do some more story time for grown-ups. Uh, what story should we do next, guys? We've had a few people with ideas in the past. Uh, if nobody picks anything else, it'll probably be Little Red Riding Hood or Goldilocks. I believe it's a tie right now between them. So, you guys need to weigh in and tell me which other one we should, uh, we should have our crazy puppet do. Who is it? And somebody before, like, a while ago was like, a puppet? Isn't it a... And they said the M word? No. For the reasons of legal tenure, it is not a M word that sounds like puppet. We don't have any sort of rights to that term. Jim Henson exclusively owns that term. And we don't feel like being sued. So no, ours is a puppet. We also have a gnome. Who, I don't think he's been in a video, but this is Cedric, guys. This was a... Gnome Away From Home. Uh, now, if you look on Amazon, they're worth like 176 bucks, but I don't know why. You can still buy them other places for $8, so just go do that, please. Um, but he's cool, and he comes with a little passport, a little book that tells you all about gnomes, and he's cool. A little law gnome. Uh, next time on the video, I'll show you uh, something I was gifted. My birthday was uh, on the 18th. I'll show you guys... Uh, well, my daughter got me, which is awesome. She got me a Ron Swanson figure. And we watch home movies a lot, that Adult Swim show. Uh, and it's hilarious. So they have a plush gnome on there. And I joked that I would like a plush gnome on my own. And my daughter got me a plush lawn gnome. So now I have this tiny little plush lawn gnome who is awesome looking. And I'm still deciding on a name. I want a cool name for him. The other gnome's name, Cedric. Well, let us know sometime if you guys want Cedric featured on a video. Or if you guys feel like we could do uh, some funny or cool stuff with Cedric. I'm getting my butt whooped. Um, let us know. And maybe we'll do some crafts like how to build your lawn gnome a little home. Or should we do crafts on our channel? Should we do like little DIY things? I could. Good. We could do all sorts of stuff. We are not just a gaming channel. Although we do a lot of gaming videos... Uh, we want to do a lot of other things, too. Um, you guys like urban survival stuff? What do you want to see? Let us know. Uh, let us know what you think of this game. Uh, in particular, uh, I, I find it very awesome. So, so far, it's been a lot of fun. This is Moss Destruction, guys. Uh, I am Bones. Thank you very much for checking this video out. You guys have a great day. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Click in the link below to buy this game on Steam. And uh, yeah, just let us know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the game. It's a very well put together game. Enjoyed playing it, that's for sure. Uh, have a great day.